Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Night Prayer for Friday, April the 29th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 149, Acts chapter 4, verse 1 through 12, and the Song of Simeon, Luke chapter 2, verse 24 to 30, 20, well, it's 29 to 32. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, sing a new song to God Most High. Alleluia, Psalm 149. Alleluia, sing a new song to God Most High. Sing praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's people exalt in their ruler. Let them praise God's name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For you, God, take delight in your people and crown the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hands. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all your faithful. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing a new song to God Most High. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Now while Peter and John were speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came to them, much annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus that the resurrection of the dead. So they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word believed, and they numbered about five thousand. The next day their rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. And when they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name did you do this? And then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, it has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands, O beloved God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. He whom thou wast me to bear, Alleluia. As he promised hath arisen, Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia, for the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia, Alleluia.